Michael here with another epic week in LEGO news. LEGO Avatar is back. Huge new releases from LEGO Star Wars and LEGO Dreams. Batman classic TV series Batmobile. More upcoming promos. And what's the next Marvel exclusive minifigure? And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First at Target, today's the last day to save 30% on select LEGO sets, including the LEGO Ideas Family Tree, LEGO Disney Villains Icons, LEGO Harry Potter Weasel, Wizard Wheezes, Lego Minifigures Series 25 Six Pack, and Lego Marvel Wolverine's Adamantium Claws and Star Lord's Helmet. Next over to Amazon, the Ninjago Nia and Eren's Baby Dragon Battle is 50% off. The Lego Dream Stable of Dream Creatures is 41% off, and the Lego Marvel Endgame Final Battle is 39% off. Next up, Best Buy, the Lego Super Mario Big Spikes Cloud Top Challenge is 44% off, and the Lego City Dunk Stunt Ramp Challenge is 53% off. Over at Walmart, the Stunt Smashing Chimpanzee Stunt Loop is 67% off, and the Police Driller Chase is 49% off. And if you want to pick up any of these deals and more and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. Next up in LEGO Avatar news, it has been 18 years since the original two sets came out in 2006, and fans of the show have been clamoring for more of The Last Airbender ever since. And sadly, these blue ones didn't do it for them. But now LEGO Avatar is back in a big way thanks to all new skins in LEGO Fortnite. When we compare these new minifigure designs to their original counterparts back in 2006, it's really night and day, as the designers just captured everything so well with all of the prints and all the new hair pieces. They also released a small teaser trailer where we get to see some of the characters in action, including Aang doing some of his airbending. If you want to pick up these characters for yourself, some are part of the battle pass and others can be purchased on their own. And if you want to pick any of them up and support the channel, use creator code TALKBRICKS. Next in Star Wars news, over on an Australia certified store, we got the reveal of three more new May releases. First up, we've got the Droidica with 583 pieces retailing for $60. This set is the latest in the buildable droid series, and I think it's a really nice capturing of the design. Plus, it also seems to be a pretty sturdy display model. It has the great mechanical look with all the different angles and the wires connecting to the blasters, which have this same recoil action we see in the movie. And also, just like the films, you can reconfigure it into a sphere. Like with other similar sets, this one comes with the specifications plaque and the 25 years of LEGO Star Wars brick. Plus, there's an updated build for a minifigure scale droidica. Next, we've got the Mos Espa pod race with 718 pieces retailing for $70. This micro scale build is the latest in the diorama collection and features Anakin and Sebulba's pod racing face off. The two vehicles are pretty nicely captured at this scale with some interesting parts usage. Not to mention, I do like all the curved slopes used to create the backdrop. On the base, there's the 25 years of LEGO Star Wars brick, as well as a quote tile saying, Remember, concentrate on the moment. Feel. Don't think. Use your instincts. Like the previous Death Star Trench run, I can't say this build is my favorite of the dioramas, and it seems a little pricey. Finally, we've got the Clone Commander Cody Brickheads, with 147 pieces retailing for $10. The design for this Brickheads looks really great, with all of the armor detail, the antennas, the visors, and all the great prints. And there's even a build for the hologram. Next, according to Bricklicker, we're getting another large-scale Batmobile. This time, the one from the classic TV series, with 1,822 pieces retailing for $150. The previous 1989 Batmobile was the last large-scale version of the car that we got back in 2019. But while this set had almost 1,500 more pieces than the new one, it also cost $100 more. And while this new set is the same price as the Corvette, it does have around 400 more pieces. This set marks the fourth version of the classic TV series Batmobile that we've gotten in LEGO. And with this one being such a unique version, I think it's a great set at this scale. And I'm expecting to see some of the gadgets inside. As for minifigures, while the 1989 Batmobile came with three, the new one is only said to include one, which is the classic TV series Batman. And I think it's sad we're not getting a new version of Robin, who we haven't seen since the 2016 Batcave, as this Batmobile is designed to seat both of them, and would have been just like how we got Marty and Doc in the Back to the Future time machine. But in any case, this one's a must-have for me. Next, in LEGO Dreams news, thanks to a Mexican certified store, we got a look at three new sets for Season 2. First up, we've got the Never Witches Midnight Raven with 1,203 pieces. The Dreams line is definitely taking it up a notch with this one, with an awesome build for this line large raven with huge wings. There's great shaping around the head, and at the center there's this large cauldron build, not to mention this nicely shaped hut at the back. And like other dream sets, it can be reconfigured, separating the house as a walking house like Baba Yaga, and turning the cauldron into this creepy spider. This set includes six characters. First up we've got Z-Blob and Mateo, and Mateo has this awesome new weapon, not to mention awesome printing and the new puffer vest. We also have our first minifigure for Astrid with a gold wheelchair with rockets. Back this wave we've got the Never Witch, who looks awesome, and in her staff we have what seems 
seems to be the Sandman's tower. Next, we've got Izzy's evil doppelganger, Dizzy, with epic printing, and Logan's evil doppelganger, Dogen, with that new neck piece, plus this new dual color raven. Next, we've got Cooper's robot dinosaur, C Rex, with 917 pieces. The build for this one is just epic as it looks like a junkyard dinosaur made up of automotive parts. As we can see, flame exhausts at the top, and even some new orange parts for the legs. And you can also reconfigure this build into a large pterodon, which totally changes things up. This set includes five characters. First, we've got a new Cooper with a cool weapon, with a new dual molded hair hat and that puffer vest, plus his evil doppelganger, Duper. Next, we've got Zoe with that awesome face print, plus her evil doppelganger, Doey. And also included, we've got Sneak and that new Raven. Finally, we've got Mateo and Z-Blob the Night Battle Mech with 1,333 pieces. And this new version of Z-Blob is absolutely epic with all sorts of great transparent green detail and great printing. Plus, there are two alternate models, including this knight with a new sword and this one with the shoulder cannons and Z-Blob's face at the center. This set includes six characters, including the same Mateo, plus his evil doppelganger, Mad Teo, with awesome printing and that puffer vest. Next, we've got the new Logan with a recolor of the hat and hood and dual molded legs, plus his evil doppelganger, Dogen, as well as Snivel, Sneak, and another Raven. These new sets are pretty epic, and I can't wait to see the rest of the line. And if you want to check out the new season, it comes out on May 17th. Next up, we got the reveal of some April promos and some upcoming Insiders rewards that we have to break down. First up, we've got the Fruit Store, which will be available free with purchases over $200 starting on April 15th. This micro scale build has a nice colorful design and is the second in a line after the recent flower store. There's all sorts of fruits on the stands, a striped awning, and the same roof design. And turning it around, we can see the inside of the Fruit Store with lots of sticker detail and upstairs a little apartment with furniture builds. Next, you'll also be able to get two poly bags with your purchases over $50 only on Animal Crossing Friends, Dreams, Disney Princess, and Creator, which includes Lego Creator Gift Animals and Lego Disney Aurora's Playground. Over on Lego Insiders, there's going to be three brand new Lego Space Rewards. First, there's a new baseball hat with a Velcro patch to swap out all these designs. And on the side, there seems to be a loop to hold a minifigure. Next up, we've got a duffel bag with stars on the fabric and a space logo at the center, and a sweet zipper pull. Looking inside, we can see the awesome inner lining which has all sorts of builds of planets. And also included is this little mini pouch. Finally, there's also some sets of stickers, which include some of the characters from the recent LEGO City Space Line. And I think I might have to save my points for the hat and the duffel. Next up, recently we got the reveal of three brand new LEGO books that we have to break down. First up, over the last couple years, they've been updating all of the character encyclopedias across LEGO themes, and we're finally getting one for Marvel. And this is our second LEGO Marvel book after the recent Visual Dictionary. Like others, this encyclopedia will have an exclusive minifigure inside. The outline looks like a brand new Iron Man suit, which we could definitely see as there's always more suits to make. But sadly, I just think this is a placeholder as we just got the Iron Man in the visual dictionary. Personally, I'd love something like the Spider-Man DIY suit from Homecoming, one of the many Captain America suits we didn't get from the first two films, Thor's outfit from the Guardians, or maybe something from the comics. There's definitely a lot of directions this could go. And while these books are mostly geared towards kids, I usually pick them up for the figures. Next, the LEGO Halloween Games book and World Builder book each come with pieces to complete different activities activities and games. The Halloween book comes with 40 spooky pieces, and as you can see, inside they give you all sorts of builds and rules for how to play various Halloween-themed games. The World Builder book comes with 150 pieces, a minifigure with a 4-in-1 model, and in the book you'll find the instructions as well as all sorts of challenges and things to play through. And if you want to pre-order any of these books and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. Next up, this week the LEGO Group was recognized as the most reputable company in the world for its second year in a row. This ranking comes from the Global Rep Track Report, which ranks the 100 most reputable companies. And while this is the second year in a row that they've been ranked to number one, they've also been ranked in the top three for the last eight years in a row. The CEO said that this is a testament to the dedication of our colleagues who all play a part in building a sustainable future and a better world for our children to inherit. Together, we're working to create positive lasting impact and inspiring the builders of tomorrow. And a huge shout out and congratulations to the LEGO group. So there you have it, another awesome week in LEGO news. It was great to get to see the new releases coming for Star Wars and LEGO Dreams as there's definitely some huge ones coming. Not to mention some of the fall releases like the LEGO Classic TV series Batmobile that I'm really excited to get my hands on. And while we wait for all of these, we can play with the new Avatar skins in LEGO Fortnite. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations. And be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win, and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one!